this is incredible. So I think I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna stuff my mouth. Um, I think one of the um one of the other segments that we had talked about um talking about was about gratitude for the year. Do you wanna take a a, a stab at? And you can handle it as a big thing, as a small thing, as a handful of things, however you want to tackle that. Gratitude, wow. Well, gratitude grows um, when you are thankful for something or you're looking daily for something. For 10 years, I've been doing a, a gratitude series for the month of uh, November um, for the last 10 years. And when it started, I was not very thankful for things. Wait, like I had, what? Like, you know, what we need, I had to... Were you so, grumpy? Yes, I was very grumpy. <laughs> so, you know, I would think about things that were not right or not the way I was expecting them to be or planning them to be. Mm -hmm. So my gratitude list was, okay, I open my eyes and I'm alive today. I can turn the light switch and the light comes on. I can turn the faucet and the water comes out and I'm still grumpy. <laughs> but I'm working on the gratitude. And now it's like, I mean, just... Mm -hmm. trees i mean just like coming in here tonight mm -hmm. i mean we're we're in downtown graham um if you've never been in downtown graham north carolina it is very festive <laughs> lots of christmas mm -hmm. lights it's very i don't know just seeing it it's just even it's though it's cold, cold outside it's very warm in your heart you know mm -hmm. it's like that christmas kind of spirit um i'm thankful that we flew that we got a straight flight i mean just mm -hmm. little things now you think Oh, I'm so thankful for this. You know, it's little stuff. Like I'm thankful oh my God, my son's car. He drives a little Kia. This is his first car. My son is in his 30s. He's catching up with me um, in age. <laughs> and uh, he, let, he let me drive his car. And usually the key doesn't go in it. And the Kia, we, it stands for killed in action. K-I-A. <laughs> he was military. So that's why <laughs> the car is named that. And that's his very first car and it is still running. Mm. But sometimes you can't turn the key. But I mean, I'm so grateful that the key works today, that mm -hmm. I can lock the doors. <laughs> there's a in the car. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so many. So when you're when you're grateful and you're looking for things to be grateful for, there's so much more out there to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. So I'm grateful that BJ's had my crack corn. That's my favorite. I know. I'm treated about this. I've got a good popcorn. <laughs> is, and my favorite thing is chocolate. So this is my favorite popcorn, and it has like really to share. Yeah. Well, I don't know that I can mm -hmm. talk. Oh, yours. <laughs> so, um, this year has been a year to be able to uh, experience the many reasons for gratitude. And um, every year it is. But this year has been ex especially. Uh, <laughs> eventful with regards to things to be thankful for. And I can just think of um, right off the bat, my husband's uh, hip replacement yeah. surgery, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, his recent bout with a kidney stone that like lasted for 10 days. Um, and <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand. <laughs> and it, it, uh, it's, it's a very painful thing and he did use oils and, but it's just one of those things that your body has to deal with and um it was it was helped with with the lemon oil for sure um and getting to work with these ladies oh, 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 oh. <laughs> or to be um you know for you it's been for years and I'm so, I'm so thankful Thank you. You're thankful for and you. for you I have been anticipating <laughs> <laughs> this for years so it's, it's been a great year to be able to go to uh, Salt Lake City with you and Rand. Oh, I was so grateful for that. And, mm -hmm. and my son, my oldest son went with us. Um, just just so many things mm -hmm. to be uh, healthy as, mm -hmm. as we are mm -hmm. and to know that um, that could change at any moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and even at that, we would need to see things to be thankful for, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's what we need to do. Um, just reminded so much that um we we really do have so much to be thankful for yeah. um every day yeah. every day yeah I, I find myself sometimes just uh you know whatever i'm doing i i 
this morning it was sitting there reading my devotions and I, I was just like you're so good to me yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. so good to me <laughs> why mm -hmm. but um but yeah so this has been a wonderful year to be able to experience gratitude for sure mm -hmm. what are you Oh, well, I believe that the more you spend time focused on gratitude or looking for gratitude or even in a gratitude practice of I wake up and write down five things or 10 things or or if that's something, a practice that you do before bed, whatever, I think the more you spend time leaning into it, the more it just like wraps your heart, yeah. you know, and just like pulls you in into like a bear hug. Yeah. I feel like that's how gratitude is. It's like, it just will pull you in. Um, She's so good with words. I think, <laughs> I think that, um, you know, gratitude is really important uh, for our family. Um, and, and when I say family, I mean me, Grant, you know, just kind of in us. And, um, and I used gratitude to keep myself focused on who I wanted to show up as. Yeah. Um, because I think it was really easy at a, um, I think by default, I'm somebody who tries to look for the positive, but I think when there are negative influential or, or if I have a, a loving connection with somebody and that person tends to be negative, it'll, it easily pulls me down. Mm -hmm. And I had to make a decision, uh, you know, somewhere along the way that like, you know, kind of plant my flag in the ground and go like, I have to protect myself yeah. and do, uh, and, and focus, you know, not that I can't love the person who's being negative, but I just needed to make sure that I was kind of protecting myself and gratitude was the practice that kind of kept me on the ground that I wanted to be on, yeah, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Um, and then as, as Rand was kind of going through adolescence, um, I noticed some particular behaviors that caused me some concern and I, um, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to pull him into this gratitude practice as well. So we would do it um, as a, um, on the way to school. Hey, okay. tell me three things you're thankful for, right? And then I would do it as a, oh, 11, 11. You know, what are you thankful for? Um, and so I, I use that to pull him into conversations where he can focus on gratitude. And um, as he's grown into that practice, he will now, and has now been, hey, mom, sh sh it's two, two, two. What are you thankful for? Oh, so oh, I love man. the fact that that now has become a, a reciprocal that we're both encouraging each other to, oh, yeah. to focus on gratitude. And to me, one of the most exciting things is um, how, as he's grown uh, and has leaned into this practice, uh, you know, it, it's like the, the, the principle where two or three are gathered, right? Yeah. Um, so now what I've learned is that uh, we are influencing other members of our family. So when we went to my mom's practice, she's like, what are you guys doing? And it's like, well, this is what we do to have a moment of being present and being thankful. Yeah. I found out she did it with my dad. <laughs> Like we weren't together at all. She was like, oh, it's, you know, she saw, you know, we call them angel numbers, but she saw a time on the end. She's like, that's right. That's what do you think? It was incredible just to see like How to this, 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 these little positive, you know, roots kind of yeah. um, okay. just from a practice that Brandon and I, that. yeah, it was that's just very uh, nice. so it makes my heart shine. Uh, in regards to 2023, um, we had a big year. Ryan graduated high school. Um, it was his first prom. It was his first winter semi-formal. Uh, you know, it was our first doTERRA conference. Um, we um, we didn't go cross country this year, but we went to a lot of different places in the country. I got to sing to a bison. I have a video <laughs> of it. I'll share it with you. Me singing to a bison in Yellowstone. Um, and he gave me a little glance. Like, <laughs> I see you, human. I will not kill you today, human, right? Um, but Aww. just like these little beautiful moments that we seem to, I think because I try to be open to them, and it's not even try to be open to them. I mean, Rand and I will, um, for lack of a better way to say it, we have like family prayer before we go out on an adventure. Um, but it's just more of a, it's not like we're bowing or we're not being formal about it at all. We're just calling in and asking God to protect us. And um, we will welcome 
magical moments. We will welcome, like we invite Providence to show up and put these like particular uh, magical things oh, together yeah. that then we get to experience. So yeah. I think that um, a lot of those things showed up for us, you know? Yeah. And I think part of it is being open and welcoming it in, but part of it is also being present enough to notice it. Right. Right. And gratitude does that. Huh? You notice things when you're more grateful, you're more open. I agree. See. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. So um, that was just a really, that was just really strong in our year uh, for 2023. And um, I was, look at us, look at us, look at these beautiful crowns that we get Talking to wear. I keep straying our mind. Look at this beautiful <laughs> like food and just the, just the abundance of us having the time to get together us having the space we have to get together, um, us having all these digital devices that are helping support us in this moment. Um, I think we're just so incredibly and she's in control of oh. <laughs> right the chance. I just think that we're just in a place of being so incredibly um blessed. Yes. Yeah, beyond, beyond measure. measure. Beyond yeah. measure, you're right. So uh, by the way. This is delicious. I know we call it crown corn. You can't use I mean, it is like so rich and delicious. Mm -hmm.